Madam President, while few have ever heard of a small, hardscrabble country in the Horn of Africa called Djibouti, it is one of the most strategic pieces of real estate in the world. Tens of thousands of ships pass through the nearby shipping lanes every year. Over 30,000 vessels, 40% of all the ocean traffic in the world, passes this point. And the country is surrounded by violence and instability, including Yemen, just 17 miles away, and Somalia, their next door neighbors. We're fortunate, therefore, to have Camp Le Manier located in Djibouti. It is a significant United States military base helping to bring security and stability to a difficult neighborhood. It's not an easy location to do business. In the summer, temperatures reach 120 degrees. There's not a tree in sight in Djibouti. The country's extremely poor, and opportunities for recreation and escape are almost non-existent. These American servicemen and women are to be thanked for their dedication and long tours away from their family and friends. They're playing an important role in bringing greater security to the region and helping dramatically reduce the scourge of piracy that has so impacted the area waters in recent years. USAID also has a major humanitarian distribution warehouse in Djibouti where emergency food aid can be shipped quickly and efficiently throughout the region as far away as Bangladesh. And even in faraway Djibouti, there was a woman from Illinois helping with this effort. I want to recognize her work uh, here for a moment on the floor. Her name is Christine Karpinski. She is from Chicago, and she's part of this important USAID effort to save the lives of the most vulnerable people in the world. Let me lastly note that Djibouti just had elections this weekend, elections the opposition is claiming were fraudulent. I wasn't there as an observer, but certainly Djibouti can do more to open up its political system. It took some notable steps with the current election, and I hope the post-election process can move forward in a peaceful manner. I also hope that the Djibouti government, in partnership with the United States and other foreign powers that have significant footprints there, will do more to lift its own people out of poverty. What I saw there in terms of underdevelopment, particularly given the sizable sums paid by foreign governments for base leases and a population of less than one million people, simply didn't add up. We in the government of Djibouti have a responsibility to do more for the people who live there, especially the next generation of young people. Uganda, Djibouti, so many countries in that region, you will find 50% of the population under the age of 15. It, it's just a reminder to us that the forces, the dynamic forces behind Arab Spring in many parts of the Middle East and Northern Africa are at least evident in many of these other countries that haven't been touched yet by that change.